with you. I go toe to toe with you. From the blue corner, Lorenzo, the juggernaut hunt. And we get a. And there's our first look at Lorenzo, the juggernaut hunt. And ladies and gentlemen, what a specimen in Lorenzo, the juggernaut hunt. He'll be fighting out of Jacksonville, Florida. Considers himself a striker. And if he's a striker in this, it should be fight lights out. Ladies and gentlemen, I can promise you I was looking at some of this gentleman's footage. And he's, he does indeed have one punch knockout power. And in talking to him, he's very confident in his ability. He's so confident he couldn't wait to fight. And we're going to see it on, on display tonight. He told me yesterday he likes to do this for the youth. This guy's very involved in his community. This gentleman is, 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 is dedicated to, 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 to providing the disciplines of the youth in the street and letting them see that they could become anything that they put their mind to becoming. Yeah, definitely an inspiration to, to those that he mentors and those looking up to him. I saw him yesterday, look at him, he is, he is thick as they come. Yes, at 205, he's fighting at th this way, he's very thick, he seems very powerful, he's a striker, so explosion, we're gonna see fireworks. You know, this guy told me that uh, his role model is his father. And his father is, is, is the one responsible for him being the greatest at everything that he puts his mind to. And now, ready to make his way to the Trigon from the red corner, Robert Real Business Brown Jr. Robert Real D Business Brown Jr. from Miami, Florida, now fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia. He is a chef. He is a cook. Trying to start up his own business, doing this because he loves it, loves to fight. And he is also a knockout puncher. Another well-known knockout puncher who fought in the backyard, who was known for decimating the opposition that he faced. So you've seen him fight a lot. He got hands on him, huh? He can punch. I witnessed this gentleman deliver a knockout punch from hell, if you will, <laughs> on one of his opponents. Well, I watched him yesterday walking around the press conference. I didn't even know he was fighting. He was dressed up. He had on a hat, a button-up shirt, but he was shadow boxing, and he looked smooth. So hopefully those skills can transfer over into the Trigon tonight. And looks are deceiving also. When you, when you look at him, you think, and you look at his opponent, you think he's outgunned. But... You know, he's here to fight, and he's here to get a knockout. Well, he has a 1-0 record in the backyard, considers his fighting style boxing, and will be cornered by Willie Kennedy out of Atlanta, Georgia. You know, uh, this guy is also uh, uh, related to other backyard uh, brawlers, and uh, that's how he got introduced to it. Ladies and gentlemen from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, our next bout is brought to you by BYB Extreme Fighting Series and GetPureNatural.com. This bout scheduled for five three-minute rounds of bare-knuckle brawling in the cruiserweight division. The three judges scoring at cage side, Janelle Mellish, Josh Johnson and Tom Milstead. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with white and red trim. He weighed in at 203.4 pounds. An eight fight MMA veteran, originally from Cleveland, Ohio, now fighting out of Jacksonville, Florida. Here is Lorenzo, the juggernaut. Huh! His opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with red and green trim. He weighed in at 192.2 pounds. He is 1-0 in bare knuckle brawls from the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia. Here is Robert, real business, Brown Jr. 
Referee David Baslow with the instructions. Fighters, come center. All right, gentlemen, you're given the rules in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck. Tom, you good? Tom? We take a look inside the Trigon, brought to you by Pure and Natural, Robert Brill Dill. Brown Jr., 5'11", 192 pounds, 71 inch reach, and he's age 38 against Lorenzo Hunt, 6'3", 203 pounds, 60 inch, 68 inch reach, and he's 36 years old. All right, guys, feet on the line. There you go. You ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. Fight! I love that they start this close. You don't really get too much time to to even analyze your opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, don't blink. Both of these guys are knockout punchers. I wonder if the 11 pounds make a difference. He's 203, he's 192. And he seemed, you know, that could be a, a difference, but you never know. You see these guys taunting each other. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, these Lorenzo, guys are filling each other out. Lorenzo Hunt showing some, some great defense early on, just yes. great head movement. He is. The, the, the head movement, the ways he's trying to throw, he's trying to throw him off. Lorenzo trying to throw out Robert Brown. It's going to be a technical fight for right now. Somebody's going to get knocked out, though, I think. Oh, wow. big hooks. And there big you see hooks. Lorenzo jumping out Hunt, throwing his punches with bad intentions. Wow! And he has a corner! He has him in a death corner! And this is the corner that Joey was talking about, staying in a death corner. But Robert Brown did great in that corner, staying in that corner and staying patient. He stayed patient, he kept his hands up, he didn't stay centered. Yep. Did a great job great. of defending. Great. And both of these guys, very cool, calm, and collective as they attempt to set up each other for the knockout punch. Robert Brown wearing the black trunks with the red stripe. Lorenzo Hunt, black trunks, white circles on him. Wow! And Robert Real D. Brown grabbed that man's a left hook that Lorenzo Hunt shook off and just waved his finger as if it never happened. And that was a lead left hook. Not even a jab, a lead left hook. He threw it and caught him with it. Nice shot. What a solid chin on Lorenzo the Juggernaut Hunt. I mean, they're throwing heat. Yeah, every punch is with intention. Ooh. And th both of these guys, very confident in their punching power. And, and staying calm now. Even, even though they're throwing big shots, staying calm, patient, placing their shots. Now. I guess they may be oh, left hook. Wow. Hands on Robert Brown. He takes it well, though. Rizzo Juggernaut Hunt stalking his opponent. Two good chins on these guys. They both got hit with big shots. Hooks. Both of them got hit with great hooks and took them like it was nothing and still fighting. Not wobble. And again, this is bare knuckle. Yeah. They're getting hit with bare knuckles, bone on bone to the face, and they just took them shots. Took it like it wasn't nothing and. Stop the bell, guys. Fighting. There you can see the crowd. Wait a minute. Another left hook plans for. And these guys are now going at it. Wow! Stop. Wow! Saying? And a shot right. at the end at the bell. Oh, yeah. he out. And Robert and Lorenzo Hunt. Corner. Corner. He's hurt. He's, hurt. He's definitely hurt. Could this be a case of being saved by the bell? Him, he was hit, hit saved by the, the bell. And, and I'm not hurt. talking about the show. He was saved by the <laughs> saved by the bell. He's out at the end of this round. I didn't see what shot that hit him. But he definitely took a shot. Went down. Or right, let's take a look at this here. The shot that hit him behind the ear. There, it looked. Wow, it was a head. Was a head, head, head butt. Whoa! He got. It was a head butt. Both guys slipped. Wow, it punches. was a. It was a. Oh, I it thought was a head butt. I thought, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I thought it was a punch, but it was a head butt. They oh, they clashed. Hit him right behind the ear, and Lorenzo Hunt wow, goes down. Out. Yeah, he gets the worst of it. He wow. gets the worst of that, of that uh, let's exchange. Go, let's go. That was an ugly out, head, but ladies and gentlemen. I wonder if he can recover Guys, from it. Rusi, who did you have in that round? I have that round dead even. 
as these right guys now right set here. out on the line yeah, to very, impose their will right. on each round other. Two. Very close round. Ready? Hard to tell who won. Right. Both of them landed big shots. It seemed to be Lorenzo Hunt doing most of the stalking, but both of them doing about equal amount of damage. They've been teasing each other power in the, in the first round. Now it's time to get, go Stop. at it. Got, yeah, Lorenzo got, Hunt got, seems ready? to now have a little bit more respect after, after that break going into the second round. These guys, you can tell there's a tremendous amount of respect as neither one will rush in blindly. Major respect. Now, now it's strategy. Now you got to set it up. Wow, wow nice That's block and nice block. Oh, wow. Lorenzo Hunt didn't take barely any wow. damage in that And game. ladies and gentlemen, you see Lorenzo, the Johnny Matt Hunt, starting to go to war. Both guys turning it on. Wow. This is out of Robert Brown. His man is never going to hold on. Stop, stop, back up, back up, back up. You good? You got your mouthpiece? Where's your mouthpiece? Time. All right, come over here. And ladies and gentlemen, both right. of those guys Go. unleashed the fury Stay upon each other. But look at the toughness of these guys. They, man, Robert, okay. Robert Brown. I mean, uh, Robert Brown Jr. on the on the cage, taking his shots, coming right back. Not no quitting these guys. No quit them. Just durable. Both of these guys have decided they're willing to lay it all on the line to become the best in BYB. This fight might boil down to conditioning. Yeah, I was just about to say, it's only a matter of time before this altitude starts to take advantage. Yes. And what a body shot delivered by Lorenzo, the juggernaut hunt. Yeah, he has blood running down the side of his head with that, oh, that last did. shot. I think it, a cut on the head, but it's not affecting Brown. It's going down the back and going down the eyes, so he's okay. And it, it is, it's probably a fortunate thing because now he, stop, stop. He, Robert I Brown doesn't have to worry about blood limiting his vision. Now, Chris, that's a very awkward place to have a cut. You don't normally see those cuts like that in boxing because with the glove, you won't get that type of impact. Bone on bone on the skull like that, you're going to see a cut that way. Yes, you will. But at least it's in the back of the head and it doesn't go into the eyes. It doesn't affect them. And both of these guys trying to look for openings to land the KO shots in an effort to be victorious. Wow! And there you have Robert Real Deal Brown landing a few head shots on Lorenzo the Juggernaut Hunt. Now it's time to be patient. They figure each other out. They're thinking, okay, wh where can I land? You see Lorenzo Hunt just throwing something out there, trying to, trying to bait him to, to throw so he can counter. And what defensive skills on display by Lorenzo the Juggernaut Hunt as he's now stalking Robert the Real Deal Brown. Stop! Stop! Go to your corners. Good job, guys. This fight is everything I anticipated it to be. In his, uh, his Both guys laces. showing tremendous heart, Make tremendous sure metal, in, laces in the and back. tremendous skill. Tremendous skill. It's tremendous strategy. Yes, the strategy is great. We're going into the third round. I did, now, that's one thing I did not expect was for both guys to be as patient as they were. And being able to utilize all five rounds, both guys going into the third of five. Lucy, how do you have it going into the into the third round? Listen, uh, both of these guys have a tremendous amount of heart. There is no wavering. And and let's look at some of the action here, Chris. How do you see it? Great block. Look at look at defensive skills. He blocked every single shot. Great body shot in at the end. All right. Then turning on the offense. Press him against the, press him against the cage. Great using his size, using that 11 pound advantage. And, and stop, stop, stop. Back up, it looks, back up. it looks back as though up. he may have been cut on one of them shots there. You see the shot that cut him on the head. Now we get another three. look at, great, a great body shot right Yo, there to end that, that combination he threw. And I do believe it was while he was on the cage that that cut was sustained by Robert Real Deal Brown. Starting round three of five. 
fight brought to you by Pure and Natural. Go to getpureandnatural.com, pharmaceutical grade CBD products. And this is what happened. What happened? And if I have a dead e even on the scorecard. Wow! Oh, that was a shot. A hook. That wow. could be a game uh -huh. changer. Four. A uh hook. -huh. Five. Six. By Arizzo, the juggernaut. Seven. Run. Eight. As he decides to doing? throw Carson right. to the wind. Yeah. Continue. Yep. Right, and go it. all out. Right. And now since he oh, has nice. his opponent hurt. Nice. He see it. He's going for the kill. And his opponent is still wobbling. Going for Look it. Look at his oh. eyes. They're blocked. Oh. Oh. One punch. It Uppercut. is over. Uh, he's Uppercut. stepped over Uppercut. his opponent. Uppercut. Looking Ooh. down at the carnage that he's displayed on his opponent. Wow. Ooh. Wow. This oh. guy is definitely the real deal. Yeah, he's the real deal at 205, I'm, I'm telling you. Robert Brown, the chef, just got cooked. He has hurt his opponent. But, wow. But respect to Robert Brown. Let's look at this action again. Chris, how do you see it? He has him, he has him on the cage. Had him, oh, the hook. Oh, wow. Robert, Robert Brown trying to put his hands out there to, to block a punch and get caught with a hook, pulling backward at the end of the punch where the power knockout, is, and it really hurt him. Yeah, that hook seemed to sneak right in between the guard of Robert Brown. Right now, here's the, here's the knockout. You. Oh, yeah. Got him on the cage. The uppercut has come. Oh, oh that's, 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 that's the first that's knockdown. That's the first knockdown. That left hook would have put anybody down. Yes. Yeah, we just hope Robert Brown is okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have cold weather on the outside in Wyoming, but I can promise you this, it is nothing but the hottest of action in the trigon of BYB. And there's a shot, a sign of respect a display of sportsmanship, and that's what this yes, is all about. It is. The sportsmanship that these guys have. They get in there, they do damage, they do battle, but yet show the sign of respect. And that's what the backyard was founded upon. The greatest of respect being shown, as these two guys are tremendous competitors. Hey, 4th of July is coming early. This is for, this fireworks, this is, fireworks. It is going off everywhere. And wow, what a great card this Fighters, is. Come to center. <laughs> and there you see the juggernaut hunt talking about the headbutt that he received. I was busy as fuck. <laughs> oh, I was moving so slow. I was like, shit, I can't. And there you can hear him saying he was moving a little really well, slow man, <laughs> from the headbutt. Now up into the cage with our announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for both brawlers, please. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Cheyenne Ice and Events Center in Cheyenne, Wyoming, your referee in charge, David Braslow, calls a halt to the bout at 54 seconds of the third round. Your winner by TKO, Lorenzo the Juggernaut Hunt! Let's go! Lorenzo Hunt gets it done in the third round. Knockout by uppercut. Somebody to look out for. Definitely somebody to look Woo. out for. He has, not only does he have great power, but his defense. His defensive skills are what impressed me the most. It's great. He's a great. He's just a great athlete all around. And he shows a lot of respect to his opponent after he knocked him out. I mean, major respect. I love that in him. This guy's a beast, ladies and gentlemen. And now up to the cage. Wow. Listen, what an awesome performance. You stalked him like he was prey, and you took him out. I mean, what is the recipe for that performance? I was just, I had to just stay calm. I mean, I know everybody here can fight. Uh, I just wanted to stay calm. He hurt me a couple of times. He is really, really intense. But I just, just stalked him, stalked him, let the pressure build up, wait for my shot. Listen, Robert Brown, he's a very tough guy. You guys, give it up for Robert Brown one more time. Listen. Robert Brown was a very tough guy. A lot of individuals would have went out in the first round with the, with the sparks and the bursts that you guys was giving each other. 
I mean, listen, this right here is the very principles that the backyard was built upon. Hey, once again, let's make a big, big welcome for Lorenzo, the juggernaut, Hunt! <laughs> He said Robert Brown was intense. Look in the mirror. Wow. This is an intense individual. Very intense.